Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be giving a brief introduction to the nursing process in nursing practice. Nursing process is an assertive, problem-solving approach to the identification and treatment of patient problems. It provides an organizing framework for practice of nursing. The nursing process requires cognitive, psychomotor, and affective skills and abilities of the nurse. In 1958, Jean Orlando started the nursing process that still guides the nursing care today. Nursing process can be defined as a systematic approach to care using the fundamental principles of critical thinking, client-centered approaches to treatment, goal-oriented tasks, evidence-based practice recommendations, and nursing intuition. The nursing process functions as a systematic guide to client-centered care with five sequential phases. These are assessment, nursing diagnosis, planning, implementation, and evaluation. Assessment is the first step and involves critical thinking skills and data collection, which are subjective data, or they could be the verbal statements from the patient or the caregiver. For example, the patient might say that I have pain in my ankle or toe, or I have breathing difficulty and so on. And objective data is the tangible data, data such as vital signs, intake output, measurement of height and weight, abdominal circumference, etc. It can be observed and measured by inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. The sources of the data could be patient's primary patient or patient's primary caregivers, family members, friends, and electronic health records. Critical thinking skills are essential for assessment. According to North American Nursing Diagnosis Association, or NANDA, a nursing diagnosis is defined as a clinical judgment about responses to actual or potential health problems on part of the patient, family, or community. A nursing diagnosis encompasses Maslow's hierarchy of needs to prioritize the patient-centered outcomes. So basic physiological needs have to be met before the higher needs or goals can be achieved. For example, I, I will give you a two-part nursing statement of the nursing diagnosis. Imbalanced nutrition, less than the body requirement, related to poor appetite and shortness of breath. With this nursing diagnosis, the next phase is that of the planning. Planning stage is where goals and outcomes are formulated that directly has an impact on the patient care. These patient-specific goals and the attainment of such assist in achieving a positive outcome. Nursing care plans are essential in this phase of goal setting. The goals should be specific, measurable and meaningful, attainable and action-oriented, realistic and result-oriented, and time-oriented. So with the example of the nursing diagnosis that I gave on imbalanced nutrition, less than the body requirement related to poor appetite and shortness of breath, the patient goal uh, can be stated as that the patient maintains adequate intake and meet body's nutritional need. And the positive outcome can be stated as increased nutritional intake or food intake. 
After the planning phase, the next important phase is that of implementation. This is the step which involves carrying out the actual nursing interventions or procedures. For example, administration of medication, cold compress, oxygen administration, suctioning, etc. Or um, in the same nursing diagnosis that I stated, which is related to the nutritional requirement, we could be stating it as determine in collaboration with the dietitian the number of calories and type of nutrients needed, provide prescribed diet, select nutritional supplements to maintain adequate caloric intake, administer enteral feeding, Nutri uh, and meet the nutritional need if it cannot be tolerated, if the patient cannot tolerate any oral feedings. Last step or the phase is that of the evaluation. So it is the final step of the nursing process and it is important for positive patient outcome. It determines if the patient's outcomes have been met as a result of nursing interventions and if the outcomes were not met, a review of the steps is necessary to determine why the outcomes were not met. Revision may be needed in the data collection method, the diagnosis, planning or the nursing interventions. In the same example that I stated in the nursing diagnosis, that is related to the nutritional need of the patient, you could assess the uh, or reassess if the patient's uh, intake, oral intake has been adequately increased. If not, maybe you have, we have to introduce the enteral feed. Again, if the patient does not um, uh, tolerate the enteral feed, we, with the prescription of the doctor, we may have to start with the parenteral administration. So in, the, in short, we have to, or to conclude, I would say that nursing process is a continuous process. So you have to do a re-evaluation, do the reassessment, re-planning, and again the interventions have to, modified interventions can be carried out until and unless we attain the positive outcome. So in my further videos, I would be discussing each phase of the nursing process in detail. If you have any questions or suggestions, you are welcome to comment down below. Thank you.